Elizabeth Montany, founder of the Marion Theatre Project, said it was her own mother who encouraged her to combine her theatrical and spiritual sides to write, perform, and produce plays based on scripture. Fittingly enough, this Holy Week, that includes one touching presentation. Walking with Our Mother is a one-woman show she created, calling to mind the suffering Jesus endured on the streets of Jerusalem during his journey to the cross but is told from the point of view of his mother, Mary. Reel to Reel's David Martin attended the performance of Walking with Our Mother at St. Michael's Church in East Long Meadow, held this Lenten season, and offers this report. Elizabeth Montigny, who grew up in Long Meadow and attended St. Mary Church there, said with all the turmoil happening in the world, now is the time to hear Mary's message of love. Dear disciples, you are my children now. I know you are afraid. Do not listen to what others say to you. Listen to me, your mother. I am with you now because I want you to understand the Father's will and the gift he gives us in Jesus our Lord. Montigny created Walking with Our Mother based on Richard Fury's Mary's Way of the Cross, as well as Scripture. She said Mary does not say much in Scripture, so one must rely on the Apostles' accounts of what happened during the Passion. Montigny wanted to keep the play Scripture-based to remain relatable to the audience. I definitely say the rosary before each performance, and then I also call on certain saints that are dear to me, uh, St. Joan, uh, St. Genesius, um, to just give me the courage to be there. Um, I'll also say the memorare. To see my son so humiliated broke my heart. I wanted to hold him and shield him. Elizabeth Montigua uses her experience as a mother of three boys to portray the emotion of Mary as her son Jesus is about to be crucified. She was so humble in her entire life and how much she just wanted to give everything to her son and she really walked with him on that journey and I just try to think about how much she just tried to love him even as he was walking to die and um, it's it ends up being very powerful and and uh, yeah. <laughs> Michelle Hicks a member of the spiritual life committee at St. Michael Parish said the performance was incredible Hicks said Montigny's heart-wrenching emotion as Mary, who broke down watching her son suffer and being tortured, was so moving that audience members began to cry. If you look into the whole passion through the eyes of a mother, and this is her child, you know, and then, it, then she was addressing the people as the children, her children, and, you know, I mean, it's just really powerful. Are we worthy of such a gift, of such a salvation, you know? really gets people thinking, and that's what Spiritual Life Committee tries to do. My dear children, do not despair. He will return to us. Montigny has performed the play at a Catholic high school and was impressed with the interest of the students. <laughs> She knows she really is doing her job when young adults pay attention. Mary was only a teenager when uh, she was pregnant with Jesus, and you know she had to grow up really fast. <laughs> and so it's always fascinating to me to hear what their questions are, and um, I'm so glad to be there to be able to do that. Father Wayne Burnett, St. Michael's pastor, said having this performance during the Lenten season helps others realize Mary's role in Christ's sacrificial act of love. He said by entering into prayer with Montigny and the grace and talent from her heart, it allowed the faithful to open their hearts and inspired within them a deeper sense of service, obedience, and trust. He said the play made him think of Sister of St. Joseph Betty Brohan, a pastoral assistant at St. Michael Church. 
I actually came back here and sat where our beloved sister Betty sat before she passed away last year. And just being able to sit there where Sister Betty sat and a woman who I respected, loved, and admired so much, and to feel that presence of Mary and that performance and that acting grace, it was a humbling prayer that I'm very grateful for. Since the evening was an ecumenical event, after the performance, a Taze service took place featuring songs by the St. Michael Choir. Hicks said the parish wanted the audience to experience a different version of the Passion, and then they could reflect on the Passion according to Mary during the contemplative prayer of Taze. During the service, the congregation came to the altar to light candles. Father Birnett said it was symbolic as worshipers were coming together in prayer to place their intentions at the feet of Christ especially in this world that we're living in today, where there seems to be a greater need for peace all the more, that Christ will always be that light in our lives. No matter what darkness may seem to prevail, that light always has a greater strength. Reporting for Real to Real, I'm David Martin. Elizabeth Montany performs another play for Advent based on the joyful mysteries of the rosary titled Our Mother's Call. And she's also working on a number of future projects. 